Hey guys, it's me again. Now we're going to go through on how to import photos off an iPod and iPod Touch. Unfortunately, the, the older iPod Touches don't have cameras, but you can still import the photos because you can still save photos from Safari. So basically the same way you're going to do each one. So it's just going to save them right to your camera roll. So we're going to go through that real quick. Okay guys, so again, here is the iPod Touch. So if we open it up and we focus, we can go to photos, go to our saved photos because again it is an iPod Touch. If you're on a newer iPod Touch or an iPhone, this will show up as camera rolls. So here's all the pictures that were saved on this camera. This is how we're going to import them. So there's two ways. Basically, if you unplug and plug your device in again, so once you plug in your device, it'll pop up in iTunes, it'll say whatever, but you also get this little thing called autoplay. What this is going to allow you to do is automatically import photos. So you'll actually see import photos and pictures and videos. So then if you just double click on it, it'll have you import them. And you'll get this little book that says import all, so click once you want to import, you can go that way. If not, if you guys don't want to do it this way, a backwards way of doing it is through your My Computer. So if you go down to your Start menu, go up to Computer. On your computer, you'll see your hard drive, you'll see removal, CD drives, DVD drives, stuff like that. And then under Portable Devices, you'll see iPod, iPhone, whatever. What you want to do is double click. You'll see. You'll either get to a page that shows all your photos, or you're going to get to a page that says internal storage, DCIM, and then you'll actually be able to have one or two. So just open that up, and then there's all your pictures. So then you just copy. So you can do it this way, hit copy, or you can go up to your edit, select all and then edit copy once you've copied them you can go back to your start menu go to your pictures folder create a new folder so go to file new folder title that iPod let's say or iPhone for an iPhone open that up or they can title basically whatever they want so then we find that we'll open that up and then you can go up to file and paste and I'll paste them right in and then you're good to go and then you just resync with that folder in iTunes and that'll put their pictures right back on alrighty thank you